Let's see if I stay here. All right, I got the camera in the cup holder. Probably not too, it's working for now. So this video is about working for realtors. And um, easy money or is it? So I'm gonna just share my experiences and my personal experience for today. I'm going to do a presumably easy job for a realtor. Previously, I have only worked for this realtor's personal residence and their personally owned investment properties. This job is for a listing, a future, just see moving around, a, a future listing. I don't know when it's going on the market. All I know is it's unoccupied. It's a condo built in 1890 that has been fixed and flipped. Um, that's about it. He said, I need you to remove a wallpaper border. It's in a bedroom in the basement. And then paint the room. And, th and that's it. And I said, perfect. I can do it. Um, I responded quickly. Even though I don't really have it in my schedule, I, I made it fit in my schedule. What the? Great relationship with this past customer. It's been six years, maybe even seven years when I first started working for him. This job is sight unseen. I quoted it with not enough information. And the reason I didn't fish for enough information is I was busy, it was too busy. Um, so I'm starting to get more and more information as we get closer to the date. I'm sharing my experience so you can learn from things that I've made mistakes on. Some of the new guys don't have enough customer encounters, enough jobs, so that's why I'm sharing mine so that you can see how things happen in the real world. The bedroom now is, there's also this, a hallway that's a part of the bedroom. And he, he called me today, this morning, to make sure that I painted this hallway. I'm like, okay, so it's a hallway and a bedroom now. Not gonna mess with the pricing. Um, I supply the paint, I pick the paint color out. He said, just pick an off-white color out. So I went over to Home Depot. So I actually picked off-white. I will leave that color sample there. So the future owners or whatever know what that color is. Pricing. This is uh, gonna be an interesting topic. So for me to do all of this, pick the paint, buy the paint, remove the wallpaper, cut in, I, I'm not painting the ceiling and I'm not painting the baseboard. He says it's a regular size bedroom. Regular size bedroom to you, to me, and to this guy it might be three different things. I should have got clarification. Can I please get exact dimensions of this regular size bedroom? So I don't know, we'll find out when we get there. If we get, we can even get into the place. Um, so get very specific. You know, this is, this is, these are questions I normally ask and normally find out when I go to do an estimate. Um, so what's my price? My price is $375, including the paint, paint supplies, drive time at all. And uh, you might be thinking, well, that painting man, that seems like a, a little bit low for you. And again, that's relative terms. Someone makes $375 in a day, okay, take out, say, $60, take out $100 for paint supplies, diesel fuel, whatever. So it's $275 goes in my pocket. Okay, then you gotta pay your tax on that, on top of that, $200. Yeah, I know, it, 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 it whittles its way down. Since this is a basement, I can assume that the tallest these ceilings are is eight foot. That's another very important piece of information is how tall are the ceilings in this regular size bedroom? So why am I not going after 575? Most businesses have a marketing budget and in our home services industry, business industry, Marketing would be the largest budget item for growing our business. I've talked about this in the past. High value for the money is how I market my business. This is how I have had this customer for six or seven years. And the last time I worked on their house, I said, yeah, I'm trying to do some smaller jobs. 
a little bit lower risk jobs, faster jobs. I don't like going on these remodels that I'm on for a month, two months. Um, and we'll get into that topic in, a, in another video about why I want to get out of remodel over the next year. Because I have all my remodels are booked for 2020. I can't fit any more in. I'm trying to turn a specific one down and uh, the customer doesn't want to take no for an answer. They're, they are very upset with me that I do not want to finish their basement. Uh, but we will do that in a separate video. I'm going to continue on the drive. It's going to take me 19 minutes to drive 13 miles. And uh, there, I don't have a trailer. Uh, there is definitely no parking in this, uh, this historical district of the city. Uh, I got what I think is enough. I always love having my, uh, my tool trailer with me. It would be a great day to have a tool van, have all my stuff in a van in case I, they call me up and say, hey, can you do this, can you do that, can you find this, which they already have. The, the first addition is can you find the water shutoff to the refrigerator ice maker supply line? They can't turn it off. They don't know where it is. Um, they said, well, th throw you an extra 50 bucks to turn the water off to the refrigerator. That's them saying they're gonna pay me 50 bucks. If I can find it, that's about $50 a second. Yes, can you imagine making $50 a second? On a routine basis. I could just work, uh, you know, a couple seconds a day. Five seconds a day, 10 seconds a day, 20 seconds a day would be even better. I honestly haven't zillowed it yet. Uh, if I find it, I will zillow it. I don't think it's listed yet, so I will get the, the previous sale price. Um, there's a couple units in this, so I gotta be very specific about you looking up the address and the unit. My guess is 400,000. Um, it could be more, I'm not sure, uh, of the last, if it was purchased in the last three years, it's probably in the 400,000 range. My guess is it'll be listed in the six, six to 650 range could be completely wrong but i will let you know the value of this house once we get there i'll show you around and then i'm going to switch over to the other channel and kind of go into the tools that i brought um, how long if um, you know how long i anticipate it to take me uh, and kind of show you how i do it i just remembered another important thing that i should share with you uh, working in the city. Um, they snuck this in after I accepted the job and after I gave a price. They said parking is limited, but I am, I'm actually, I'm only one block away, so it's not bad. I uh, did have to drive around, got lucky. I'm parallel, parallel parking a massive pickup truck. Uh, did quite well. I think I'm up on the curb, which is good. Even though I'm on the curb, I'm still the widest truck on the street or the widest vehicle on the street. When I give pricing on an estimate, I always look at how long do I have to travel to get my tools and materials to the job, to the room. And it's quite a distance. It's kind of a refresher course for me taking 20 some days off on vacation, getting, getting back into the swing of things. Okay, let's go down and see if we can get into this and not get shot. Okay, this is it. Built in 1890. Like I said, I'm way down in it. In the heart of the historic district. Pretty cool. I'm not sure which one it is. Okay, I was way off on the price of this, this condo. In here. So this is this is the main floor, and then there is a basement from 1890. Um, it's been through extensive renovations over the years. Uh, this here is original. This hardwood floor is original. This is original. <clears throat> this trim here, probably not original. 
take a look at the kitchen real quick. Oh, I, th I thought it was going to a $400,000 uh, condo. $1.3 million for this. <clears throat> Cracked out grout needs to be reclocked. All right, I don't want to snoop around too much. This is unoccupied, it is staged for the sale. <clears throat> um, I don't know what's over here. It's probably a front sitting room. Look at this giant pocket door. That is so cool. Original. Holy cow. Dining room. This is where the entrance is. This is the front bathroom. Look at that. Look at those fancy bars on the window. Right across the street from a higher uh, mid rise building out there. Pretty sweet. Love these old floors squeaking this here is probably newer this whole basement is probably new i don't even know what's do I even going here oh it's just a closet closet this might be to a garage oh would you look at this it's a huge garage there's four units in this this building Master bedroom is below grade. Grade is right there at that windowsill. This is an exit to go up to these out these stairs here and out to the street. I guess that's an escape route or something. Egress. Look at that. This is so crazy. It's very unique people that live in historic city places like this. Remote control. Let's take a look at their bathroom. Shower. Pretty neat. Stand up shower. All right, now to the bedroom that I have been tasked with painting. All right. Down here. There's another shower, another bathroom. Pretty neat. Whoa. Look at this. Is there a light in here? That is interesting. Oh my. <laughs> Crazy. I'm guessing this is an access for a crawl space or something. Yeah. So, they said it's a bedroom. I was expecting a you know, normal size bedroom. There's this hallway. This wall has to get painted. This wall has to get painted. All around here. And this is what I'm supposed to remove. God, I don't even know if that's wallpaper. That may just come off. I may not even need my steamer. Got your, your bars, because you have to have bars on your window and your $1.3 million inner city condo. Not touching the ceiling, uh, not painting the doors, not painting the baseboard, just up and around. I'm gonna finish this video up while it's fresh in my head. Hopefully I can recap. I gotta close the rear gate. Um, I went back the next morning, which is today, to do some touch-ups on that really dark tan wall. It was too wet to do a second coat. 
when it was done at the end of the day. And I ran, also ran out of time. Um, it was good. Good blessing in disguise because today they had a like a mass of realtors come through. The listing agent, who I know, what they do is they do like a pre-showing for realtors. And I think 20 of them came through. It, it is such an interesting observation, these realtors, for inner city, wealthy, young people. And they all said it was underpriced. They couldn't believe the listing price, how low it was. And I was like, geez, really? Sound, I mean, that's just, it's just very interesting to me, the whole real estate market. Um, parking again, uh, wasn't too bad. Another one block away, which isn't, this isn't that bad for the city. So to recap, mistakes that I made, I had, I didn't ask about parking. Um, what, oh God, I already forgot what the heck they were. Uh, I didn't get a detailed uh, description or I did not personally go there and look at it. The morning of, he informed me that there is no parking and there's a short hallway uh, that also needs to be painted, not just a bedroom. It also didn't tell me that I would be going over dark paint. Um, ceiling height, I got lucky on. He, he did say it was a basement bedroom, so I just figured that they were gonna be eight foot ceilings. The fact that it was unoccupied was, was good for me. Um, I, and I did make a lot of contacts with a lot of realtors, uh, even though I'm pretty much booked for the year. I don't mind taking a couple of these small jobs just as a marketing gig to put my name out there. Because in 2021, I hope to be like a full-time handyman and, and not be doing remodels except for remodeling my own investment properties. If you've got questions, put them down in the comment section. Um, I can answer them. There's a lot of... Uh, knowledgeable people that do contribute to the comments although i have not read them in over 20 days though i don't know what's going on in the comments lately video ideas or topics for discussions um, i've got another cool small video um, this thursday small project this coming thursday for another investor property manager company um, i'll take you along for that one as well um, what I want to share with you is the negotiations, not necessarily money. Um, a lot of these people have plenty of money to pay, but their thought process on what they think the repair is, the timeline that they think, and that whole, you know, communication and just give you some real world experience, real world examples of what I run into so that you can be aware and expect them uh, when you get into the situation. All right, enough rambling. Goodbye.